Hello and welcome to today's GPI WSOP Player of the Year update. I'm Laura Cornelius. It's already day 30 at the Rio Convention Center in Las Vegas and a lot of action has been underway the last 24 hours with many winners looking to take bracelets today. It's Paul Volpe who holds tight to his number one spot in our race with over 1,631 points. This is likely to indeed change if Mike Gorodinsky, currently in the seventh spot, can outlast the remaining six in the 50K Poker Players Championship today. In fact, a second place finish may also see him seal the deal and take the top spot from Volpe. Galfon is up four places from yesterday in today's top 10, bumping down Radoja, Pescatori, Hastings and Gorodinsky one place. Today's biggest movers into the top 10 are Barry Hudder and new face Mike Watson, who both climbed six places from yesterday. Hudder, thanks to his fifth cash of the series in event 45, the No Limit Hold'em, and Watson takes his sixth cash in event 48, the seven card stud, coming 11th for over $6,000. Mike Lee also moves up two places thanks to his seventh cash this summer, most recently also in the seven card stud. German Adrian Atman eventually took down Event 42, the extended play, last night for over $478,000 as well as his first bracelet. This gave him over 318 points, which was his fourth cash of the series, and it takes him to the 58th spot in our leaderboard. Well, that's it for me today. For more information on the GPI WSOP Player of the Year standings, make sure to check out globalpokerindex.com forward slash WSOP. I'm Laura Cornelius for the Global Poker Index. Goodbye, take care, and good luck.